How do you do? Hey, what's up? Another day with this quarantine bullshit going on. <laughs> We're at Cal State LA right now. I don't want to record in my car, but it is quieter. I don't really care if people look at me or not, but let's go. Ah, so like, soon to be college. Oh shit. Okay, this school right here, if you guys know it, Cal State LA. But the reason why I'm recording this is because I wanted to share my thoughts on this school situation. You know, school isn't fucking easy and it's not even for everybody. You know, for me, it's not very easy. I'm not a school guy. Yeah. But I like learning. I definitely love to learn and grow and, and get better at my craft. Or just any little angle that I get above anybody else to understand the world better, I'll fucking do it. I, I'm always craving to grow constantly in my own fucking way anyways. Yeah. When people ask how I go to concerts alone, my answer... My ex-girlfriends probably wouldn't say any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my ex-girlfriends. No, I'm just kidding. The school itself, I think, is very important. But I figure I record and, you know, holding this big-ass camera, it's fucking heavy and very expensive. This is the best way to get the best quality, honestly. I wanted to share that school has not been easy for me to start or finish. You know, I when I left high school, I didn't really want to go to college. I just wanted to work and I had three jobs. And eventually I was like, man, I should go to school. So I did go to school and then I did my thing at Pasadena City College. Uh, for a while, and then slowly but surely, I just fucking hated going to school. I got all bad grades, and then this, and then fast forward, the school didn't want to keep me there because my GPA was so damn low. Yeah, believe it or not, it was fucking. It was like a 1.5. It was terrible. Yeah, I just wasn't interested in school. I just was there. I, I failed miserably. I didn't care. I, I was more worried about making money because I'm in. I live in LA. You know, you worry about your money. You know. Yeah. Of course, anybody in anywhere in the world, you worry about your money. But for me, it was more like I gotta gotta move on, do my own thing, move out. Very young, doing this shit, Ooh, eighteen, nineteen. I tried my best. Eventually, the school I was like, "Your GPA is too damn low," and I'm like, "You know what? I could fix this. I'm out of here. Fuck this later." So what I ended up doing was I ended up working jobs after jobs after jobs. That wasn't fun. I quickly realized I was like, "Nah, I need to go ahead and finish school." So I went back to school. It's the best thing for me. I had a girlfriend at the time, and yeah. she was like, "No, don't go, don't go. It's always." the time i'm like well i had to go back to school and, and get my degree in something life is a promise tomorrow and if you don't have a degree then you just you're stuck at a retail job and i don't like retail that much even if it's tech retail it kind of sucks man retail is retail it's it's rough um so i did end up going back to school and then i ended up meeting an amazing girl that changed my life in an in awesome fucking way yeah i changed hers too and then i got my grades all the way up i studied my ass off I passed all my my first four classes back into college with all A's. Like, I was devoted to fucking get my associate's degree in business. And I was all in. And then after being all in, I went to uh, check out different colleges to see which one I would want to go to after you transfer. And I fell in love with USC. Yes, USC is such a great fucking school. However, I live, like two minutes from this damn school. Uh, uh, USC is way the fuck down and it's harder to get into and it's super expensive. This is going to be a lot less. I need to keep moving forward. I got to get my bachelor's degree. That's what I, I want to get. You can never stop improving yourself. That's the thing. That's the crap. I think this would be good for me also. This fucking thing wasn't easy to fucking get to, honestly. I tried my fucking best to get good grades and then even then trying to come to this school it was a fucking heartache like it was so fucking stupid you know i applied to sf state cal state fullerton cal state LA. in 20 fall of 2018 fullerton i was on wait list and eventually they were impacted there was no more space I'm like, all right where goes that sf state was like yes we will take you. you you have good grades your gpa is high enough and then i was good well, it's in SF. I live in LA. At the time, I was trying to figure that out. I had a great job that I started in LA, and I was like, man, a tech company. I wasn't going to leave that. I tried, to tr I tried to transfer. It wasn't easy. I ended up staying. This one told me, yes, come to school. We want you here. Your grades are amazing, whatever. And then life is so fucking hard sometimes with the stupidest shit. You know what the school ended up doing? And ended up telling me, like, hey, your fucking GPA is shy by point, oh, what, by half a fucking point GPA in order to be part of the school program. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I, my, my grades are great. My, my GPA is high enough to be in the fucking school. Yes, however, the program you're in is not in the same category. 
So you need to pick that shit up. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I have to go back to fucking junior college to finish? Whatever, I'll fucking do it. I'll get a fucking out and two fucking I'll take two classes. You won't fuck around, let's do it. I'll, and that's what I did. I ended up going back to my junior college, took two fucking classes, got two fucking A's, okay? Yeah. What do you want to do? I come back. I have to wait till fucking fall 2019. I come back and they're like, oh, your, your classes are unposted. I'm like, yes, they are. Like, what the fuck? It's been such a fucking headache. And that's the thing, right? Like, you have two options. You give up, one. Or number two, you fucking fight. I'm a fighter till I fucking die. So I'm gonna win yeah. one way or another i'm gonna keep fucking fighting because i'm not gonna let you win i know what i need for me you yeah. don't give a fuck so i need to do my part and i'm gonna win that's just the difference like that's not gonna stop for me what i ended up doing was like I'm, i petitioned it like hey i finished all my classes i did everything that was necessary to fucking do i'm here right now i have my fucking money yeah. i have my grades my teachers are like like what do you do what's happening and then let me fix this there you go was that i ended up getting a's sending my transcripts to them as fast as i could and then they said hey you know what unfortunately we're impacted now we don't have any more space for students i'm like how the fuck are you going to tell me to go to fucking school again, get good grades, pick up my GPA, and then, oh, you'll come right back. And then you say, hey, we don't have space. Like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I'm not, I'm so fucking silly. Like, you're not going to tell me that shit. Yeah. Fuck you. That's a lot of fucking time. And you want me to go to school till 2021? Are you on fucking crack? Fuck, do you know who I am? I'm fucking yeah. Jack Dom. I'm not going to stop. So what I ended up doing was I ended up fucking doing a little petition bullshit. These are the reasons why I belong in this fucking school. I deserve my spot, okay? This, these are the reasons why I need to be here and why I'm so close to finishing. I only need a year and I'm out. Like, what the fuck? No, no, hell no. It ain't gonna fucking happen. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna do this shit. And you know what? They said no again. And I said no. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm gonna send you a fuck little emails for you to understand how serious this is for me. So I did. I ended up replying to the admissions saying, hey, you made a mistake. I did everything you followed. Here are my transcripts. Here are my transcripts from last year. Here's my grades this year. And to the point where they still wouldn't receive 2020 transcripts when I already finished my classes. So I had to submit two, two emails from two different professors. I got creative to let them know, let Cal State LA know, hey, he got A's. Past my classes with flying colors. It's just that our system is really slow. And maybe you guys haven't gotten it yet. But he's a great student. Cal State LA will be lucky to have him. Like all this great stuff. Like, yeah, fuck you, dude. Like I belong here. So that's what ended up happening. I snapped. I chopped off whatever the part that didn't matter and i took a picture of the email that i sent to the professors and their response send that shit back to admissions it wasn't easy waited like two days and then they sent me an email saying we have reserved we have reverse your application i'm like okay what the fuck does a reverse application mean and you don't think about it because you're so angry about what's happening that apparently i now have a chance to go into the school and that's where I'm at. And then, then I told them, I, as soon as I get the transcripts, I'll send them to you. And then I get the email saying, hey, welcome to Cal State. Get ready for orientation. Motherfucker. That's fucking right. And I want to share that story because if I would have given up and I would have been like, yeah. hey, fuck everything. Like, this is a waste of time. Like, I can just go make money and not worry. It's the principle. You can't give up. Yeah. That's what's important. I, if I would have gave up, they would have been like, okay, who gives a fuck? But this is important to me. And that's why I do all this shit. And now, even though I think USC is a better school than this one, because I've seen the campus and I, I've been around yeah. it enough, this is better than zero. And I, I don't have to pay what I'm going to pay over there. You never know. What if I go to USC to get my master's degree? You never know. I'm going to get my bachelor's degree here, and I'm a happy guy. All good. So, and I pay way less. So as of right now, your boy made it. I do have a chance also to, to still go to SF State. I don't know if I want to go up there still. I'm still debating it because the money's a lot up there, man. I just want to share that story because at the end of the day, you, you can't let people bully your fucking ass around. You have to fight sometimes. You have to be smart about it. And, and you can't just take a no and be like, okay, like, fuck that, dude. Like, life's too fucking short. You're going to let someone just fucking, that you don't know tell you no? No, fight that motherfucker. You have to fight, man. Well, for me anyway, that's what I do. I'm not going to let someone bully me around or whatever the fuck it is, whoever the hell it is. I'm going to always win because that's what's important. And school's <gasps> important to me. I've done oh, my no. time. Even though I do go part-time because I have a life. So to the people that say you can't do something, it's impossible, whatever. Like, you know, come on. Yeah. Like, it's not impossible. There's many ways around that you just got to try and get creative. And now I get to go to this fucking amazing college. I mean, it's not as amazing as USC, but still, I get to uh, have a new fucking start into something new. I've never been to a university, so it's my first time. Uh, I've, of course, I've been to this one because my friends have came here, but I've never been a student of this school at all. So, and then Cal State Fullerton would have been great drive. I was thinking about moving over there, but eh, still, I like this. I'm going to try this one out for a semester. If it works out great, if not, SF, here I come, or Cal State Fullerton. I don't know. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Later. My friend, the crow.
I see you. <laughs>